Hello YouTubers, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you some Blu-rays and stuff that I picked up over the past week or so. I got a nice little stack of stuff here from Code Red. I got, uh, I got a Blu-ray box set from Arrow Video. I got a couple of Steelbook editions from High Def Ninja that I'm really excited about. I got some Steelbooks from Zavi over in the UK. And I also have a couple of uh, Blu-ray Amore cases from the UK. And I do have a PlayStation 4 Collector's Edition box set that I'm going to show you guys towards the end of the video. And then the last thing I'm going to show is a double feature Blu-ray. And I'm going to talk about a contest that I'm going to be having here in this next week. Um, Maybe as early as tomorrow, but definitely within the next, you know, like five or six days, I'll post a contest. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned to the end of the video. And the first edition I'm going to show you guys is a signed Blu-ray that I got from the director. And this is a film from Caleb Emerson. The film came out in 2005. This is called Die You Zombie Bastards, and it's a Zomcom, a zombie comedy. And I'm not sure if you guys can tell, but he personalized it to me. And it says, To Todd, Peanutch. And that's um, a character that Caleb also played in the movie. He directed the film, and then he made a, a little cameo in his own film um, as the character Peanutch. And then he signed it here in gold, and it looks really nice. And this is the 11th anniversary edition, and this came out in 2016. Um, the film originally came out in 2005, but now it's in high def, and it looks really good. And it was also signed here on the back by the director, Caleb Emerson, here, and also by Haig Demargian. And this is number 92 out of 200. So I'm really excited to own this. It's a fun film. <clears throat> a two disc here and you can see that it's the original um, in full frame aspect ratio and it has bonus features and then the second disc is widescreen anamorphic widescreen so and then he also sent a little card here with it it says thanks for your order Caleb so I thought that was really cool glad to have this one that is die you zombie bastards <clears throat> the next I guess I'll show the Arrow edition that I picked up. And this is a film that I didn't really plan on picking up. I do like the film, but I do have it on Blu-ray and DVD already, and I didn't really feel like, you know, double or triple dipping on this title until I saw some unboxings here on YouTube, and I thought it was just way too cool to pass up. And Zavi had a sale on this title over the last, like, a uh, couple weeks. I think it was about three weeks ago or so. And I ended up getting this for around like 24 US dollars. So I thought that was a really good deal. And you get the, there's a book here on the top that comes with the film in this box set. And then you get the director's cut that comes in like this little digi pack. And then you get the theatrical cut. And it comes in this nice slip cover here. And I thought this was really nice. It's still available. This is the brand new 4K restoration for both of the editions of the film, the theatrical cut and the director's cut. And it just has, I mean, all this right here is special features. I'm not going to go through all of it. I may do an unboxing of this one, and then I'll go over all these special features. But for now, I'm just going to kind of show you what I got. And uh, that's a really nice addition. I had to add that to the collection. The next stuff, the next little pile here that I got is uh, Code Red stuff. And the first title here is The Headless Eyes. And it's spine number 24. This is a film I have not seen before. It contains two versions of the film. It is color, 75 minutes. It is all region. The film came out in 1971. And you can watch it with Katarina's Bucket List Mode. 
It says, if you like oddball, old school grindhouse, this is certainly one to try on for size. So I do like to um, collect all the Code Red stuff, and I like the old grindhouse drive-in type films. Glad to pick that one up. The next one here I picked up too. So if anybody's interested in a trade, let me know. But this one is called the Electric Chair. Again, I have not seen this one. This is Code Red Spine number 01. Like a jolt of lightning strikes, the electric chair sizzles. It has a brand new HD master of the only surviving longer director's cut. You can watch it with Maria's B-Movie Mayhem mode. It has audio commentary with Phil Smoot, Worth Kiefer, and it has on-camera interview with Jerry Whittington. And the film came out in 1975. This is rated R, and it's region A, and it's approximately 98 minutes. And there is the very lovely Maria. So that is the electric chair. <clears throat> the next one here is called The Jigsaw Murders. Solving this puzzle could prove deadly. And this is Code Red Spine 97. And it is anamorphic widescreen from 1988. Rated R in its all region, ABC. And it is approximately 98 minutes, it says. And the special features on this one, you have a high definition master from the original Vault Elements. You can watch it in Katarina's B-Movie Theater mode, and there's the original trailer on here. The Jigsaw Murders. The next one here is the one I was most looking forward to getting out of this last little bundle, and this is called Savage Attraction. And it is a true story of a 16-year-old girl looking for excitement, and then the men who turned her innocence into something savage. Starring Carrie Mack, and this is Spine 99 from Code Red. And it has a brand new HD master and original trailer. And it is anamorphic widescreen. film was from 1983. It is rated R, Region A. So I'm looking forward to checking this one out. And then one I picked up on eBay, and um, I know that Vinegar Syndrome has recently released the Blu-ray for this, which I do plan on picking up. And I heard it looks really good on Vinegar Syndrome. I went with the Code Red DVD just because I'm trying to collect all the, the back catalog for Code Red. But this is a Death Row Game Show, and it is Code Red Spine 106. And it does have some special features here. It has um, audio commentary by filmmaker Mark Pirro and star John McCafferty. Revisiting Death Row Game Show by Mark Pirro. Mini Motion Picture Marketing, 1994, by Mark Pirro and Code Red Trailers. And it is rated R, Region Zero, and the film came out in 1987. And it is approximately... 83 minutes. So glad to pick this one up and add that to the Code Red collection. I think I'm going to save the High Def Ninja stuff for a couple minutes yet. I'm going to show you guys a couple of uh, Amore cases I picked up from the UK. And the first one here is from Shameless. And this is the Shameless numbered edition. And this is The Church. And I did pick up the DVD about a month ago or so. And here's the Blu-ray. This is spine number four. And I do have number 271 out of 3,000. And there you can see it does have reversible, a reversible cover, and that's the original cover there. And it does have some special features. It has an interview with Michael Suave, 2K Pristine Restored and Remastered edition of the film. 
and it says this is the longest version but I do believe it's not completely uncut um, the longest version and the English version and it has the Italian version with first ever English subtitles I, I might have to do a little research but I think the Italian version is uncut if anybody knows for sure please comment below but I'm going to also do my own research on that I think the English version is cut pretty pretty good and I think the Italian version is uncut but looking forward to checking this out I do have this on DVD um, from the US I think that was put out by Anchor Bay and I also do have the uh, shameless DVD with the same cover and everything so glad to pick that up I do have everything that shameless has put out to date now except for the the latest title um, which uh, slips my mind right now what they just put out but I'm gonna be ordering that um, here's another edition that I picked up from the UK and this is a Fright Night documentary and this is the You're So Cool Brewster edition the story of Fright Night and it comes with an eight page comic and this nice slip cover here it looks really nice this is put out by Tom Holland's Terror Time and the special bonus features are it has the writing horror Tom Holland feature apes to bats Roddy McDowell feature official trailer full Peter Vincent host segments the DVD version the Peter Vincent vintage trailers and more so let's crack into this bad boy here and see what's inside it's a very heavy edition probably because of that eight page comic but it feels like it's very the case is thick and it's pretty heavy it's got some weight to it and that slip cover is really nice I know that this is limited and I think the slip cover might be sold out now they may have a couple left you might want to pause this video and go check that out go over to um, Tom Holland's terror time just check that out do a search on Google and here's the that is awesome I love it when they have unique art on the Amore case and the slip cover and on the inside here you can see that it it is a three disc set we'll get into that here in a second I'm just gonna kinda thumb through this little comic book here you're so cool Brewster And I'm just gonna flip through this it's really nice and then the first disc here is the feature documentary and I like that comic art style that they put on the discs looks really nice okay then the second disc here is the feature documentary on DVD and the bonus features are DVD so you get one blu-ray and two DVDs and a little eight page comic book in a nice thick case here with a nice slip cover and I believe that was was right around 30 US dollars for this so I'm gonna put that slip cover on off camera because I don't wanna wreck it with one hand it is kind of a tight fit so I'll, I'll take care of that off camera and then some steel books I picked up from Zabby.com over in the UK the first one here is probably one of my favorite movies of all time and I'm not afraid to admit that it's a great film it's a it's a really good story there's really good characters in, in this film it's the princess bride It does have a love story, but it's a really good adventure film. And Robin Wright looks absolutely gorgeous in this film. Chris Sarandon is also in this film, and he was in Fright Night. Um, this movie came out in 1987. The running time is 99 minutes. This is Region B, and 
and it does have some special features here. It has the true love, the princess bride phenomenon, a conversation with Rob Reiner, Carrie Elwes, and Robin Wright. It has the princess bride phenomenon, entering the zeitgeist, the art of fencing, dread, uh, dread pirate Roberts, greatest legend of the seven seas, miraculous makeup, Princess Bride, The Untold Stories, Fairy Tales and Folklore, and Love is Like a Storybook. So I'm really looking forward to cracking into this one and checking it out. I heard that the uh, picture quality is really good on here, and I'm looking forward to probably checking out the special features before I even check out the movie. So this movie I've seen many, many, many times. And it is one of my favorite movies, one of my favorite childhood memories and all that stuff. So I'm glad to add that to the collection. Next one here I picked up is Disney's Monsters, Inc. And it has the 3D lenticular card on top of the steelbook. There's Mike and Sully. This one was very cheap on the website. I believe it was right around 20 US dollars for a, a 3D Disney Blu-ray in a steel book is really cheap. So I was glad to pick this one up. It has the Blu-ray 3D and just the regular Blu-ray. The next one here I picked up is Brave. And I'm gonna actually open this one up on camera because I hear a loose disc in there. And I don't wanna rattle it around too much, but there you can see it also has a lenticular cover. This is the 3D Blu-ray and 3D Blu-ray and regular Blu-ray. This became an instant Disney classic a few years back. Let's see if I can slide this out of the J card. I like that they don't have the little glue dots on their J cards like they do in the US. So let me pop this open here. And there was one loose disc. So you get the Blu-ray 3D, which is right here. And you have the regular Blu-ray. I'm gonna pull this one out so you can see the background artwork. And there's a nice little panoramic view of the forest. So that's really cool. And the thing about these Disney Blu-rays, uh, steelbooks on Zabby, is they sell really fast and then once they sell out, they go for a small fortune. So if you're interested in any of these titles, you might want to go and check it out now before it's too late. And finally, the last steelbook is Frozen 3D and this one was also loose. So we're going to do a little package opening here, a little unboxing of this Blu-ray. And it's good that Blu-rays don't scratch as easy as DVDs, but you still want to take care of it when they're loose. And there you can see the lenticular cover. It doesn't really do much, it just gives it that 3D depth to it. And again, the Blu-ray was loose. This is all region ABC. There you get a nice little panoramic view of the characters. There's the 3D disc. And here is the Blu-ray again. So that is Frozen and I'm glad to pick that up. And I just noticed something. I think this is a magnet. Okay, it is. That's cool. This is the regular steel book. And then this is the, the 3D magnet that kind of fits in that little that little area there. So that's cool. Didn't even realize that before. Okay, we're going to get into the high def ninja stuff and before I get into the new stuff that I got, I'm going to kind of show you a recap of some stuff that I picked up previously from High Def Ninja. 
and they have a new a new line of steel books with slip covers that are that were kind of um, commissioned by different artists to make the slip cover the like the little slip box for the steel books and they use the synapse steel books to slide into their their own commissioned slip boxes so the first one I have was uh, Tenebrae which I picked up you know several months ago I can't remember it was right around in the summertime sometime and this was number one in their line for the black label that was Tenebrae and then they also threw in a slip cover for Zombie Land, which I, I bought the steel book separately and they threw me in the slip cover. And when you turn this off and shine a black light on it, it shows the rules of Zombie Land. And I don't have a black light at the moment. Someday I'll show you guys that. But there's videos on YouTube and pictures on the internet. You can check that out. It's really cool. So I really wanted to thank John Whitley for this. And then I mean, this, this package here was great. The one I got today was even better, and he threw me in some more freebies, and I couldn't believe it. So we're going to get into that right here. And here's the box that it came in. And before I get into the newest stuff I bought, these were the other two covers for Tenebrae that I did not own because they were sold out. But John Whitley was nice enough to send these to me. For free so I thought that was really great so another shout out to you John if you're watching the video I really appreciate that man thank you very much for doing that and this was um, also Tenebrae and it was number one because it was the first in their line for the black label and then here was the third and final one which I didn't get these are all sold out now and they're going for crazy money and John was very nice enough to send these to me so this is what the whole line for number one looks like right here. These are the three different covers for the first Tenebrae. Okay, those. Now we'll get into number two, which I got in the mail today. First, he threw me in this little, like a little Disney sticker. You can see it's kind of like a Mickey Mouse throwing money in the air, and in the background you can see like a poster for Star Wars. So that's pretty cool. And this is for Phenomena. And this is cover number one. They only had two covers this time and I picked up both. I was lucky enough to pick them up. Let's see, there's number two on the spine. These were limited to 200. And I got number 102. And this is from Quilt Face Studios. Quilt Face Studios were, was the artist for this particular slipcover, which I really like. I think that's awesome. These are sold out now. And the second one here is 102 out of 200 also. And this is a cover. As you can see, the steel, both, of the, both of these editions have the steel book from Synapse in there. And this cover was from, I'm trying to see who the artist was, I can't remember. I think it was Dark Inker. Yeah, Dark Inker did this cover, and Quilt Face did this cover. So these are the two editions from the Black Label number two. And they're both Argento films, so very, very cool. And then they also threw me in couple of coins and I really strongly recommend you guys go check out High Def Ninja they're really good people they have great product and there you can see that the coin I don't know if that's coming out it says phenomena a nightmare alive and it has like an eye with a centipede crawling across it and it's just a coin inside like a little plastic case and then this one is from um, the dark inker so this one here is the dark inker and this one here is quilt face so it actually kind of goes like that I guess very happy to get that very very happy 
So thank you again, John Whitley. You're the man. And I'm looking forward to seeing what number three is in the collection. Okay, I'll put all that stuff away off camera, so I don't want to waste your guys' time. I guess um, I meant to show this in a previous video, but this is a little, a little pen syringe that was from Arrow Video. And it's um, an ink pen from Bride of Reanimator, and it just has, I mean, you can actually use it as a pen, but it has the green serum in there. It's something I meant to show off before, but I forgot to show it. So I'm going to pause it here, guys, and give myself a little room because I'm going to show you a box set for PS4, and then stay tuned because I'm going to be talking about a contest that's coming up. Okay guys, thanks for sticking around, and here is the box set. I'm trying to get that glare off of there, but this is a box set that uh, came in the mail today, and this is a pretty new game from PS4. It's called The Last Guardian, and this is the collector's edition. And this is kind of like a little slip box cover thing that goes over the box itself here. And it's, uh, it's meant to look like a wooden crate, but it's really just a cardboard. Uh, it's... It's pretty sturdy, but it, I mean, it's not wood like you guys, it looks like it looks on camera here, but it comes with a 75 page art book that I'll show you guys really quick. Don't know if you guys had a chance to check this out or at all or anything, but there are some um, YouTube videos that show some of the uh, gameplay and some of the previews for this game. And it looks really cool. And my oldest daughter wanted to get this so I picked it up and we play games together so this is the art of the last guardian the graphics look phenomenal I mean it looks breathtaking if you guys get a minute go check it out and maybe you would be interested in playing this as well and I'm not gonna really go through all these pages but uh, I don't want to bore you guys but this looks really really cool and I'm really looking forward to checking this out but I'm going to have to wait for the weekend when the kids get here there's the dragon and in the game the dragon looks really fluffy it almost looks like it has feathers and fur it's hard to explain but it looks so fluffy when you see it on the previews on YouTube go check that out then it has a little sticker sheet here. I'm not really a big fan of stickers, but um, it is cool that they threw it in in the box set. And the next item here is a steel book. It comes with the game. It looks really good. And then there is the game itself. And then it also comes with a digital download for the game soundtrack. Which I'm not going to flip that over because it has a code and I do plan on redeeming that. So, And then the, the cool thing about this box set here is I have to remove a, a little plastic tray. But it also comes with a bust of the dragon and the little boy Let's see if I can pull this out with one hand here looks like the uh, the tray got a little cracked in shipping but everything else looks good I'm trying to take this little boy out I'm just gonna leave that in there but if you guys can see there's a little character he's the character that you control in the game and then the dragon is your little sidekick companion here that uh, saves you throughout the game. And I know my camera's not picking up the detail, but this looks really, really nice. And you can kind of see what I was talking about, how the it looks like it has feathers. But when you look at it on, on YouTube, it, they're really like fluttery and it almost looks like it's furry like it's really soft the base here is plastic but the figure feels like it's ceramic if 
feels very heavy, but this is like a, a lighter plastic, and there you can see it says The Last Guardian. So I'm really looking forward to checking that out. So I thought I'd share that with you guys, and let me pause it here a second so I can put this away, and then stay tuned one more time because I'm going to go over a contest.